Hello everyone, uh, it's me again, and I'm back here with uh, some new tools, new toys here to do a review on, and I got here a router, punch router, um, one and a half horsepower, read a lot of reviews on it, seemed like uh, this was a, a much better uh, router to get than the, uh, than the, uh, two and a half horsepower seems like there was a lot of uh, negative reviews on it um, went to the store and played, played around with the display and and, and the plunging part uh, seemed really really um, uh, hard on the on the two and a half uh, uh, the reviews I read on on the one and a half seems to uh, be adequate and uh, so it was plus it was cheaper so uh, give it a shot on this one if I'm unsatisfied, again, I can keep your receipt and uh, see how it goes. So, you know, it doesn't come with any, um, doesn't come with any bits, so it's kind of no good to do anything with this if you don't have any bits, uh, unless you just want to look at it and hear it spin. So I got here um, some bits here. So, uh probably very common bits I'll use or may not use um, probably won't be my last set of bits but uh, here they are um, you know we'll we'll just have some fun with it and see what happens so um, basically uh, haven't read uh, well I've read the manual but uh, I've never uh, set up uh, this router. So you're seeing it just as I'm seeing it, uncut, unedited, uh, first person view. And so it's, it's. Uh, I'll tell you now, it's a, it'll be a long video episode series. Uh, feel free to, you know, shuffle if you need to, go forward, go backwards. Um, but if you really want a <clears throat> um, good idea of what this tool does, uh, you you'll you know really interested in getting this you'll you'll see what you'll see the whole thing through because you want to know every detail before you uh, uh you make that purchase or or heck you know it's so uh this is so inexpensive just do it uh what do you got to lose um you can definitely return it within 90 days so all right so let's get started here we'll be going in the holster for my first person view If you notice my my new gloves here, so excellent. They were blue, now they're yellow, but still me. So let's see what this is now. This thing is uh, doesn't have any straps or anything. So uh, I took a look at it in the store and kind of already had a you know this little damage to the box, which doesn't mean anything. Uh, it would be nice if it didn't, but you know there it is. So anyway, I opened it, took a look at it, everything's there. I did at least that much. Uh, now that I think about it, I, I'm not sure if I actually, um, not sure if I actually uh, checked to see if there was a manual. So <laughs> it's all right. Could it look up all this stuff online. So here we go. Let's take a look. Let's pull it out. It out. That's what it looks like. Top view, looking in. Um, so let's just pull it out. See what's there. Okay, excellent. Alright, so it looks like the collet, um, I'm not sure what this is, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like, 
That's pretty um pretty heavy. Looks nice. The color's not too bad. It's not what it looked like online. It's like really orange, but this is a nice color to it. So that's good. I think it's held up like like this, if I'm correct. So so this is what I was talking about the. Uh, One more thing in the box here. Let's, let's go ahead. So that's a plate for the edge to guide it. And then the warranty. All right, warranty and directions here. Great, excellent. I'll put that box away now. So not too much in the box. Um, looks pretty uh, straightforward. Um, not too bad. So uh, let's take a look here. Um, so this is what I was mainly talking about here. This is this. this. When you, on this particular model, just pushing down on this, just seems so much easier to, to do the plunge than the two and a half. So hand controls right here. The, this one had a speed control, variable speed control, which the other routers didn't. Uh, you had to purchase probably uh, a speed control dial, an extra plug-in to get the speed control. So this is a big plus. Um, you know, as I was reading the reviews, it's just just a lot more people reviewing this than any other router. Um, so, it, uh, you know, and it was cheaper. You know, at, at the price that it was, it's definitely worth trying, and it looks looks solid. Of course, it's been uh, years since I've done any routing since my my days of uh, high school. So. But I'm gonna, you know, be routing. Hopefully, uh, using this to, you know, a couple things, inlays, um, rounding corners, uh, maybe doing some some doors, uh, cabinet doors. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, just having a little bit, little fun with it. Just, you know. And, and that's what it's all about. Just just getting to know your tools and appreciating them and doing what you need to do. So that's what that's why I got it here. Um, at first glance it you know looks really clean. Uh, feels feels solid um, but not heavy. You know it's not like I have to put a lot of effort in doing this and that it may be important, you know, especially if you're I'm doing inlays and uh, you know, that, that could be a big deal for me. Um, looks like there's a, a part here for uh, to suck up the dust as it routes. Uh, maybe able to take that off. Um, so, the lock on the plunge, it's right here. Let's see how easy it would be to, to, to do that. Stays in the place, excellent. Let's see how easy it releases. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's not, not that bad. Um, I never worked with a plunge router. Uh, when I was taking Witch up in high school, it, uh, there was just a fixed router base. Um, so, you know, my first impressions is, wow, you know, 
pretty cool, especially for someone who hasn't looked at the plunge router. So um, the fact that I could possibly do inlays, which I'm interested in. Um, not sure if I could do a plunge router with a um, uh, routering table, um, but I don't see why not. You just lock into place and it's, you know, a fixed router. Just have it upside down and on a table. Um, don't see why that would be a problem. Um, maybe I have to work with it a little bit more. Uh, maybe not. Who knows? Anyways, uh, we'll find out. Pushing button. There's a trigger right here. With I guess that's the lock button. That's gonna keep it going. Yep. I'm just reviewing it on power just to, just to give you a good idea here. And so it says lock, unlock here. Okay, unlock. Okay. I'm not quite sure what that's for yet, but that's all right. So these are the different three settings here that you can put them on, I believe. I'm correct. It snaps, but doesn't quite snap into that place. It's like and so I guess it doesn't snap right into the one of the corners. It just snaps in that area to to do this. Of course, you want to elevate it in order to do that, like that. So, so if that's what you're working with here. And then there's the uh, measurements. I don't know how accurate that is. Something here, like a gauge zero to if you turn this much is 130 seconds, turn this much is 164th, and zero again. So I'm not gonna sure. I'm not sure how accurate that's gonna be or not. So I guess there's a there's a set point and then. You kind of just work it, work it from there. Okay, cool. Anyways. with this a little bit later. So there you go. I guess you can play, move this around to fine tune your adjustment here. And as you're pushing it down, it stops at a given point. And you can release it. A given point. And then lock it. Lock it from that point. Okay. That's 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 kind of a cool feature here. Uh, these are probably for the uh, the guides here. We'll put those on. Um, let's see. I might have to cut out for an intermission here just just because give your give us all a little break here it's one side let's do the other side okay you might have had to put this on first before anything so this would be the guide here 
here. Um, correct. One side or another. Uh, let's just see what the picture picture shows it on this side as a guide. So I guess we can do it that way. Screw it. Screw this end. So you're gonna need a need a screw here. Let me see here. Okay. I think the washer is gonna be on the outside, just because the. I think that would that would just make a lot more. That would just make a lot more sense if that washer was on the outside. Actually, there's two washers. Uh, probably one for inside and the other one on the outside. So there's actually two washers here. See that there's two washers here. Um, I, I would just by looking at it. Uh, I don't remember in the man Manuel telling me anything particular, but maybe I'm wrong. I just briefly looked over it. Uh, maybe this has to go on a particular side. So let's just take a look at the washer real quick. See if that would be the case. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think this would be because it just makes more sense to have it like like that and have it pressed up against this side. Yeah. Well, if I'm wrong, someone's gonna correct me. Here on this side. this in here now. Okay. It's sliding in so far. Let's go ahead and slid through the other side. Hey, look at that. Okay. So we'll just set up just like the picture. And we'll see what what it would be like if we did something like that. There's probably some kind of alignment that we might have to do for it. So all we need is a screwdriver now, which you know we have we have a few. We have a few right here. So there we go. Now maybe try to be, be careful not to strip the threads. I guess you just want it on tight enough to. So we're just putting it on it's just enough to not to strip it, but add some good pressure to it. Just by hand, slight, not to strip it. Okay, because I might have to take it off. 
so there you go. Uh, now we got something to work with. Look at that. Okay. Any other equipment here? Well, we got these things, which I just gotta figure out what that's for. What do call it. Okay. So let's let's take a little break here. Um, see what. Uh, so far, it looks looks kind of ready to go. Um, but let's. Just take a little break and uh, bugs are out tonight. Jeez. Okay, so that's that's kind of what it looks like. Um, first impressions right off the box. Um, easy to set up. Uh, we'll see how it runs. That's going to be in the the next series here, next episode of. Uh, how it runs here. So if I missed anything, I'll go over the manual and just kind of do an overview. Um, so far, it seems real easy. Um, I'm kind of really impressed, really happy that I got this. Uh, I f I'm, I'm feeling excited that uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of things here. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. What can I say? Uh, I, I like it so far for the price. It's Man, uh, I, after after buying this and seeing what I've seen so far, I just feel like I I would just be sick to my stomach if I went out to um, and I and I bought a router, especially for me beginning. Um, bought like a three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, to eight hundred dollar router, um, and I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, but with this, I, you know, I feel like I can, I can, uh, I can play with it. I can experiment, and you know that kind of gives me a lot of confidence that I can do it. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, just like most most tools here that I've gotten, um, never done anything with it in my life uh, until recently. Um, although routers, I I did have some experience in woodshop in high school, but that's high school. That's eons ago so um, stay tuned and uh, um, go to the next episode or wait for the next episode either way thank you uh, hard on the on the two and a half uh, uh, the reviews I read on on the one and a half seems to uh, be adequate and uh, so you know, plus it was cheaper so uh, give it a shot on this one if I'm unsatisfied, then I can keep your receipt and uh, see how it goes. So, you know, it doesn't come with any um, doesn't come with any bits. So, it's kind of no good to do anything with this if you don't have any bits, uh, unless you just want to look at it and hear it spin. So, I got here 90 days. So, all right. So, let's get started here. I'll be going in the holster for my first person view. So if you notice my, my new gloves here, so excellent. They were blue, now they're yellow, but still me. So let's see what this is now. This thing is uh, doesn't have any straps or anything, so uh, I took a look at it in the store and kind of already had a, you know, this little damage. Hello everyone, uh, it's me again, and I'm back here with uh, some new tools, some new toys here to do a review on, and I got here a router, punch router, um, one and a half horsepower. Read a lot of reviews on it, seemed like uh, this was a, a much better uh, router to get than the uh, than the uh, two and a half horsepower seems like there was a lot of uh, negative reviews on it um, went to the store and played played around with the display and and, and the plunging part uh, seemed really really um, 
first person view and so it's it's uh, I'll tell you now it's a it'll be a long video episode series uh, feel free to you know shuffle if you need to go forward go backwards um, but if you really want a <clears throat> um, good idea of what this tool does uh, you'll, you'll you know really interested in getting this you'll you'll see what You'll see the whole thing through because you want to know every detail before you uh, uh, you make that purchase or or heck you know it's so uh, this is so inexpensive just do it uh, what do you got to lose um, you can definitely return it within um, some bits here so uh, probably very common bits use or may not use um, probably won't be my last set of bits but uh, here they are. Um, you know, we'll we'll just have some fun with it, and see what happens. So, um, basically, uh, haven't read. Uh, well, I've read the manual, but uh, I've never um, set up uh, this router. So you're seeing it just as I'm seeing it, uncut, unedited. Uh,